Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today, I wanted to talk about curiosity comments. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well. And if you get value from this video, feel free to share it or tag somebody in the comments. Maybe they'll find it useful as well. So you might have heard about curiosity posts, uh, right? So these are the posts that we put on our profile or we put them into stories or we put them, uh, you know, as a live broadcast or as a written post or whatever to raise curiosity, right? So the, 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 the goal of curiosity post is to raise curiosity and to reduce resistance because advertising raises resistance, right? And people go, oh, somebody's trying to sell me something, right? So they go away, right? So, so that's curiosity post. But what is curiosity comments? Well, curiosity comments are comments that raise people's curiosity too. So, uh, especially when you, if you're going on to different groups, other people's groups, and you see different posts, etc., of people who perhaps you, your product could help them, perhaps your business opportunity could help them, you can actually write curiosity comments too. A comment that will raise the curiosity of the author and maybe even other people too, right? And it could be to do with how your product could solve the problem, etc. But again, without giving too much information, because if you say, oh, I work with ABC company with an ABC product. And if you write me a message, I will sell you some ABC product. That's not going to raise anybody's curiosity. But you could write something like, hey, I used to have this problem, too. But the product I'm using now completely solved it. And that's it. <laughs> so it raises curiosity. What product is she using? What is she, what has she done? And now they have to either reply to your comment or even write you personal messages. And sometimes if you position those types of curiosity comments well, you can get hundreds of people commenting, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. What is it, right? And sometimes you could even say, well, I don't want to be a spamming person. I don't want to spam in this group. So, you know, I, I don't want to post anything about my products or whatever. But if somebody's, if, if, if you're curious, you can always write me a message. And then you'll get a bunch of private messages saying, hey, I want to know more about what you do, etc. So that's a curiosity comment. You can put these comments under other people's posts, right? Again, not spammy, but, you know, if it fits the topic of that post, you can use these comments to raise curiosity so that the author of the post and other people who read the post might message you trying to find out more. So that's the tip for today, my friend. Hope you got value. If you did, feel free to share it. If you'd like more awesome training, click on the link above this video and you'll find more cool stuff there. Have a great evening and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.